Welcome to our virtual award ceremony for Maryland History Day. I'm Stephanie Boyle, Program Officer at Maryland Humanities and Coordinator of the Maryland State History Day Contest. On behalf of Maryland Humanities and our History Day team, I would like to say congratulations to all the students, teachers, parents, and volunteers who made the contest possible this year. No matter how you participated, your love of history serves as an inspiration to us all. To the advancers to the national contest, congratulations and good luck as you represent Maryland at the national level. Hello, I'm Cynthia Raposo, Chair of the Board of Directors of Maryland Humanities. On behalf of the board, I want to say thank you to all Maryland History Day students, their parents, teachers, and mentors for helping us make this Maryland History Day such a success. Without your patience, collaboration, and commitment, Maryland History Day would have not been the success that it was. As one of the judges honored to evaluate the work that you have put forth, I am again amazed by the level of creativity, commitment, analysis, and research that you have done Thank you for this gift of hope. It is so inspiring to me, especially during these trying times. My name is David Armenti, Director of Education at the Maryland Historical Society. Over the past 10 years, I have judged History Day competitions at all levels, as well as supported the research process for many participants such as yourselves. Representing the oldest continuously operating cultural institution in the state, open since 1844, we at the Historical Society are always excited to see young people learning about and presenting the stories connected to our local communities. Many thanks to you, your parents, and your teachers for fulfilling this goal and shining a light on our state's unique and important history. Best of luck with any further research and feel free to visit our website or reach out to our staff if we can provide any help with that process. Please stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your spring. Hello, this is Jack Tuttle. I'm the Social Studies Specialist and History Day Coordinator for Charles County Public Schools. I want to say a big thank you to all of our students, parents, and staff who participated and worked so hard in our Charles County History Day competition this year. And I also want to congratulate any of our students who win at the state level and wish you the best of luck in the national competition. Have a great day. I'm Diana Bailey, Executive Director of the Maryland Women's Heritage Center, and congratulations to all the students, parents, and teachers on Maryland's History Day 2020, and a special congratulations to the winner of the Women's History Award that the Maryland Women's Heritage Center sponsors each year. Congratulations to all. Hey guys, it's Hannah and Phoebe, and we've competed in the Maryland History Day competition for quite some time now. But this year, we decided to see the competition from the other side of the table. Congratulations to everybody for making it this far into the competition. We are extremely proud of you guys for continuing on working on your projects and researching during these unusual times, but the skills you've learned during this project will help you in your future educational and career routes. And congratulations and best wishes to everyone who is advancing to the National History Day competition. We are rooting for you. And to everyone else, next year's theme is communications and history. And you guys are actually allowed to start working on your projects now. So we hope to see everybody next year at the Maryland History Day competition. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on researching. Bye. Hello, I'm Patricia Carballo, proud History Day coordinator for the Montgomery County District Contest. On behalf of Montgomery County Public Schools and Montgomery History, I congratulate students for their perseverance, their commitment, and their flexibility that led to their success as advancers to the state contest this year. Thank you, parents and teachers, for your encouragement and your support. Thank you, students, and we look forward to seeing those advancers move on and win at nationals. Hello, my name is Laura Mears, and I serve as the chair of the Maryland Historical Trust Board of Trustees. The Trust is Maryland's State Historic Preservation Office, an agency dedicated to the research, protection, and interpretation of historic buildings and sites throughout the state. Today, I'm standing in front of Radcliffe House, one of my favorite historic landmarks located just outside of Ocean City in Worcester County. 
Every year, the Trust sponsors a special prize in historic preservation for both middle and high school students whose History Day projects have included investigations of historical and cultural resources as part of the research methodology or whose projects are designed to encourage the protection of historic sites. On behalf of the Trust, I would like to congratulate this year's winners of the Maryland History Day Special Prize in Historic Preservation. Congratulations to the students for their outstanding research and presentation skills and to the teachers and parents who supported them throughout this journey. I hope that your interest in historic preservation will continue to be a source of inspiration and enjoyment for you throughout your life. Hello everyone, my name is Leah Olson and I am the History Day Coordinator for Worcester County. I wanted to let each one of you know how proud I am that you guys persevered during these unprecedented times to complete and submit your projects. Congratulations and keep up the hard work. Greetings to all History Day participants, teachers, parents, and friends. My name is Marjorie Patton. Each year, our family presents a special award on History Day in memory of our son and brother, Mike Patton. The award is given to a senior student who demonstrates outstanding use of primary sources in researching his or her project. Along with the plaque, a monetary award is given. The winning student or students receives a check for $250 and $250 is given to the media center of that student's high school. More information on this prize can be found at michaelpattonaward.com. It's been my great honor to serve as a judge in past history days, and I know how much work and research goes into each and every project. I'm always impressed with the knowledge shown by students across Maryland and I've always learned something. So I congratulate you all. I congratulate all the winners in every category and send my best wishes as you move on to nationals. I know you'll do well. And I'd like to congratulate also every student who participated in Maryland History Day. Greetings History Day participants, families, and teachers. My name is Amber Heller, and I'm the Prince George's County History Day Coordinator. I just wanted to take a moment now at the conclusion of Maryland History Day 2020 to send you my sincere congratulations. This year brought some real challenges, um, but you guys definitely stepped up to the plate and the topics and the quality of the projects that I saw did not disappoint. Again, congratulations, best of luck, especially to those who are moving on to National History Day. But for everyone, I look forward to seeing what you'll bring next year. Congratulations to the 17 District Teachers of the Year. And a big congratulations to Maryland History Day Teachers of the Year. Sarah Mason from Bennett Middle School in Wacomico County, and Scott Baker from North Dorchester High in Dorchester County. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Senator Ben Cardin. I am proud to represent the people of Maryland in the United States Senate. Today, I want to thank all the Maryland students who have participated in this year's Maryland History Day. You have stepped up to learn more and share more about our great state despite being physically away from your schools and teachers. A big thank you to the parents, teachers, and friends who have virtually coached these great students as they produce such incredible projects. With Maryland's rich history and groundbreaking moments in civil rights, sports, medicine, and industry, who knew that this year's theme, Breaking Barriers, could be applied so literally to this incredible contest? This is the first virtual Maryland History Day competition ever. Competition is still fierce, and I am privileged to once again be part of Maryland History Day. Good luck to all. Stay safe. 